As the team embarks on a pivotal offseason, one of the top priorities is building around second-year quarterback Zach Wilson. You know, New York is, is definitely the place. If you're going to go uh, win some games and take off, you know, I don't think there's a better place to be. Uh, once we start winning those games, it's going to be it's going to be really exciting. Zach Wilson, flight 2022. Is this young man the savior that the Jets organization and their fans have been searching for since Broadway Joe Namath? I think we saw the learning curve for Zach Wilson, um, and it was, he had some tough moments, no doubt about it. Downfield, fires one over the middle, and the traffic is tipped, batted around. It's going to be intercepted by New England. What did you say to Zach after the game? You know, just to, be, to believe in himself and uh, to shake this one off there, and I promise you it's not going to be the hardest game he's ever played, so he's got he's to pick himself up and just get, get ready for the next one. But you could see the confidence begin to build. I mean, look, let's be honest. There's so much that is riding on him. And he showed some very encouraging things, but he needs to show more. Zach Wilson is hurt. Zach Wilson was hit back behind the line. He is hurt. Um, felt a pop in there and, you know, just was, uh, you know, obviously thinking of the worst scenario in my head, which sucks. You know, it's obviously frustrating. Injuries are part of the, part of the game of football, so... Um, just dealing with him as we can and be able to come back. Well, I, I like the way he finished. You know, it, it would have been easy to kind of go in the tank. I think he showed he showed some things. Well, I think with young quarterbacks, you want to see some of those glimpses, right? Some of those flashes of greatness. And I think you saw that. You saw those in, in moments. He's going to heave a bomb for Corey Davis. He's got it! That's a jet touchdown! Wilson stays in bounds. He's still going. And he's in. Touchdown! This is where you begin to see how much it means to certain people, how dedicated they are, how much they're willing to devote to their craft, and whether or not they can make that next step. I think I'm just starting to get a better grasp for the off offense. And, uh, you know, I thought Mike's done an amazing job, uh, LaFleur, of just putting me in a good position to just feel comfortable with what's going on. You know, I think that just it is what happens when you just start to play more and uh, get more reps. You just feel more comfortable. Uh, just another game in the offense. Slant back in the end zone. Oh, touchdown. Eliza Moore. Rookie to rookie. And he's been getting better and better every single week. And you guys are seeing that. And just, yeah, again, it's the eye test and how comfortable somebody is, particularly a young uh, quarterback. And I think even I think everyone can kind of see, uh, you know, how much more comfortable and how much more free he's playing. And free doesn't mean just going around playing street ball. It means just running the offense. And when it's not there, making the best decision uh, for the unit in that moment. I just love the fact that like, he's not shaking at all. His confidence is, he's still, like, I'm, I'm the guy, and, and, the, and the organization is behind him. It doesn't matter how long it takes. It doesn't matter how long it takes. I'm telling you, the kid stepped up. Yes, sir. The kid yes, stepped sir. up. Where's two? Yes, sir. This is one of my favorite plays, uh, kind of since that I've, you know, since I've been here. I'm kind of glancing Brax as he's kind of working his way across the field at first. If I feel like he flashes, he has a good look at, at winning there, getting open, I can give it to him. Brax does a good job going outside of this backer, which essentially you know opens up Keelan right behind him. Keelan presses at the corner, gives a little move up at the top, and you know also with Braxton going right at the safety, it's going to open up that lane right behind it. You know I've always just felt like this was a play that um, I guess I, I kind of felt like I've, I've had good feel for. Something early on that I definitely felt like you know, you needed the reps on. And then, you know, this is all the way in the Tampa Bay game. I felt like at this point, you know, I felt like I had a good amount of reps of this play that I felt I felt comfortable with it. You know, we go back and we watch, you know, the rookie season. And most of the time you're sitting there thinking, you know, what am I doing? But that's exactly part of the process. And, you know, that's expected. It's the same thing I, I was doing when I was a sophomore in, in college. And I was going back watching the freshman year. And so, I just think it's exciting because you feel the growth, you see the strides you guys are taking every single week. You know, just with the more reps and more, more time together, uh, we really think stuff can, you know, figure it out. You know, Houston was that first game and it, it was still a rough game. You know, I didn't think I played very well. And I think mentally, even in that game, I think I understood at least what I was supposed to be doing a lot better. It's a quarterback keeper. He runs right, cuts it back to the left, dives for the goal line. He's in, that's a jet touchdown. I could make those corrections and be like, okay, you know, that was my first time trying to now apply it out on the field after coming back from injury. 
with every single game, I feel like it slows down more. It's more more reps of our plays, more reps of me seeing live, live defenses as well. And I think the cool thing is we're all kind of going through this process together. You know, I, I really like that, you know, I'm part of the the brand new class. I'm, I got here the exact same time Coach Sala did, and I think that's what makes it important. And then also all the other rookies that came in with me, it's like we're that first group. You know, here's the play. It looks like almost every single person's, you know, running the exact same route. You know, I'm holding onto the ball. This just looks like a sloppy play. And then you fast forward, you get down to, uh, to Buffalo, you know, last game of the year. We get to almost exact same look right here. You get Keelan in the slot and you almost get to see the distribution now of what the play is supposed to look like. You know, there's not a ton of space there, but he's able to beat his guy win. And it just kind of shows you when everybody's working together, you know, how, how good we can be. You know, you see in Denver, I get sacked for a 10, 15 yard loss, whatever it is right there. And then last game of the year, you know, here's the progress. We're now we're able to take one, go 50 yards and score on fourth and five. I would say Coach Sala, he does a great job being, you know, a player's coach. You can tell how much it means to him. You can see, you know, the passion on his face. He wears it every single day. You know, I feel like me and him have a great relationship. You know, I'm able just to walk in his office and talk ball and talk about life or whatever. And you can really just see that he's passionate about, about what he's doing. And so I, I really don't think there's a, a better leader out there for us. You know, there was a lot of times where we were you know, we were stuck in, you know, that drought of, of losing games, not putting up points, whatever it was, you know, as a team. But I also feel like the energy was just different. Guys, guys cared, guys were wanting to improve. I felt like we still were, we were still fighting all the way until the very end to do our best. And because we knew, you know, we're, we're setting ourselves up for the future here to try and be better within the next year and, and uh, years after that to come. I do feel like it is the perfect situation. You know, the coaches that I landed with, the organization, the ownership, uh, the GM that brought me here, uh, and then the guys that I'm playing with every day on the field, I feel like, you know, there's not a better situation out there for me. So I'm just excited to be able to kind of go through the whole process.